walkthrough of how to use the Social Media Editorial Calendar 2021 template. It's exactly the same as the one for 2020, and you probably came here via Medium. And if you did, then you know that there are four versions of this template. Uh, we have this one, one for the entire year, going all the way down to December, starting on Monday. We have the same template starting on Sunday. And then there's a third version, which has tabs for each month. So one tab for January, February, and so on, either starting on Sunday or Monday. So you can choose whatever week you follow in your country or area. And in case you need the links to these templates, to these versions, I will link the Medium template, what? Sorry, I will link the Medium article in the description and there you can find the four different versions and pick the one you, uh, yeah, the one that you prefer to use. Now, this template is pretty straightforward. We have a small calendar with the current week highlighted. We have the weekly number here and normally here. So calendar week one, and here again. And each time we, we have uh, visually highlighted which week we're in so that you can find it very easily. This is all dummy data. You don't need to keep it there. It, was just, it just serves as an example of how it will look when you fill it up with content. So I'm, I selected everything. I hit my backspace button and everything will go away. Now, what we do is, well, you just fill it up with content, really. That's all. And then we set a status to it. For me, the cloud means I need to do something, but I haven't touched it yet. This means work in progress. And this means scheduled or published. In either way, it's done and I don't need to touch it anymore. So if we go back to what we had before, just to go back to the example. Yeah, this is it. We have columns for the different social media channels, one for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and Medium. Now, if you do not need, for example, the last three, you could hide them, and you do so by selecting them all, right click, and hide columns. So now they are out of sight, they're not bothering you anymore, and you only have to worry about what you see here. And in case you do need them after all, all you need to do is click this tiny triangle, which indicates that there are hidden columns. See? Now they're back from where they were. In case you would need even more columns, let's put them in here. In case you would need one extra column, you want to select three columns, so one batch, right click, Insert three right. Don't worry about this. Um, we go back. I could have done it in the first place, but it doesn't matter. I select the first three columns again. I press Ctrl Command C on Mac, so copy. I go to this field, to the first column and the very first field of the first column, and I press Paste. And now we see that we copied exactly this layout into another column. And then we can rename this to, who knows, Snapchat. That's it. Mm, these little icons are just inserted images. Uh, yeah, I filled this out manually. So if you want to change the order, you would have to manually do it. For example, I'm copying and pasting these icons and manually overwriting the text which is in there. Exactly. Okay, then we have that. Then we have uh, different ways to mark where you want to put your content. So let me go down to an empty part of the template. What you could do when you're setting up your content or planning out your content, you could, for the days that you want to post something, you could put in the column a cloud emoji for, I need to do something here. You could put an X here. 
or something I often do if I want to keep track of the, the rows on Instagram or yeah, I switched them around now, but ignore that for now. Let's pretend this is Instagram for now, okay? This is one row. And here also. This is how I typically mark how the rows will look like. Because here you just have this one emoji, but this for me is easier to glance over visually. I think that that sums it up. It's very straightforward. You, you plan out the content in whatever way you want. By, first by selecting the days on which you want to publish something, by putting an emoji here, an X, or coloring the dates, and then you fill it out with, with whatever content you want. That's it. Good luck planning, your, planning out your content.